What's up guys? It's Deanna. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video on some of the things I've stocked up on for this whole coronavirus thing. I'm not gonna lie, this has been like really freaking me out. I will fully admit that I have caved into the hysteria that is surrounding it. Um, I think some people are taking it a little too far, but some people are also not taking it as seriously as they should. I think this is really scary and it's the first time our generation has seen something like this and it's scary, it's definitely scary. Um, I tend to make myself crazy in these situations. I don't know if you guys are like me. Um, if you are, let me know down below if you have any tips for curbing my insanity right now. Um, yeah, stay safe everyone. Please wash your hands. That's just like a given. But um, yeah, I think that if we all just take the right precautions, we can collectively as a country curb this pandemic. This is just something, um, yeah, like I said, that we've never experienced. And I think we can all do our part, all be responsible. Like don't go on a plane if you have these symptoms or whatever. Um, but yeah, I think most importantly, wash your hands and be responsible. I probably shouldn't be bringing you into this messy, messy garage. This is going to be one of those videos that I, I will eventually do organizing our garage. I did just organize our laundry room, which I'll show you in a second, but here's the garage. Some of this stuff was not bought during the hype of the coronavirus. Like for example, all those boxes of baby wipes. I've actually had those because BJ's was doing like a special. If you spend $100 on Procter & Gamble products, you got $25 back. So that's where that came from. I do have multiple um, packages of toilet paper, multiple cases of water, paper towels, there's some wine over there. Our wine fridge is stacked. Um, and obviously garbage bags and the paper plates. I know that the um, I know that the cases of water are not totally environmentally friendly. We only use these like if we're in case of emergency, like now. Um, otherwise, we do use a Brita filter in our fridge. Now I'll show you the good stuff. Oh my god, it's not as full as I thought. <laughs> I guess this coronavirus is getting to me and I've drank more bottles of wine than I thought, but we have probably, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, and a bottle of champagne. All right, I guess I can live with that for now. For now. I stocked up on bread, which we don't even eat a ton of, but I just figured in case anything happens, Ryan loves grilled cheese and he loves um, peanut butter and jelly. Here's Ryan's cabinet and I stocked up on these at BJ's. These are like his little crunchy things he likes. He loves these. These are cinnamon raisin protein bagels, which is great. They have 12 grams of protein in them and I put peanut butter on this. He loves those. So I got some more of those, his bars, his applesauce. I tried to get things that wouldn't go bad, um, but yeah, that's all I have for right now. Also in this other pantry, I have these Annie's mac and cheese. He loves these. Those just go in the microwave. And I have some, um, he loves this Banza chickpea mac and cheese. And then I got a ton of these. These just pop in the microwave. He loves them. Um, so yeah, we're pretty, pretty stacked here. Got our big Purell here. And then I found this hand cream in my closet, thankfully, because my hands are so dry. I don't really know the brand but it's been working. I've also got our Thieves hand sanitizer, our Thieves oil. I've just been like putting this on everything. True story, I actually put this under my tongue the other day just to be safe. <laughs> I'm also diffusing um, Thieves oil, essential oil, just because it's like an added um, precautionary that I like to do. And I do it usually when I start to feel sick anyway. Um, so I'm just pumping that through the house. I have my Thieves um, spray my household cleaner. So I just put two, or I put a cap full of the uh, Thieves cleaner into this thing of water. And then I've been honestly just spraying this everywhere, like spraying it through the air on my couch. Um, I'm spraying it on Ryan's diaper bag when we get back in from like being at the park or something, which I'm starting to limit. And I know that sounds crazy, but I'm just like, Really trying to be really, really cautious. Also at Target this morning, I stocked up on Ryan's milk. 
Um, and because the expiration date wasn't until like April 15th, we will definitely go through the amount that I bought because Ryan drinks it every day. Some more peanut butter and jelly um, and trail mix and things like that that we can snack on that aren't gonna go bad. And granted, there probably will hopefully not be anything happening where we will need to use all of that in the near future, but I just wanna be on the safe side and have it just in case. Also, if you guys are trying to find like surface cleaner wipes, I know they're like nowhere to be had, but I did find at my Target the Baby Gannix Toy Table and High Chair Wipes. These are surface cleaners. I've used them for Ryan before and I was really shocked that there were like six packages of these left and I grabbed them all. <laughs> I also picked up more of Ryan's pouches at BJ's. He loves these pouches. We also use the Happy Baby brand. Um, but these are just really good to have and they're non-perishable. Another thing that I'm going to be doing just as like a precautionary thing, um, I'm going to every night, I already clean down the countertops like every single night, but I'm going to be, I think, using my Swiffer Wet Jet on the floors, the knobs of all of like the door handles, everything that is like touched frequently, especially metal they say, um, but I'm just trying to be really cautious and take all the right measures because this is serious and sadly we are actually pretty much 99% sure we're going to be canceling our Disney trip in April and I'm very upset about that. Um, you guys know how much I love Disney so but you know we just feel like it's the right thing to do and to be safe for everyone. We don't want to bring it back home to one of our grandparents or our parents or something like that so more to come on that but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later. Bye!